Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokémon Platinum! Last time, we finished going all around the Sinnoh region, seeing all the new places we can access with Surf! Except one! As you might guess, this time, we are heading off to the major new location we can access with Surf now that we are done backtracking! But before we do, those of you that have looked off at that very recessive bottom screen can see that we have somebody new in our party here today, yes! Finally, after how many days of real time since I first recorded the Safari Zone video, my daily encounters finally gave me Tropius. I've been wanting this as an HM user for a while because like I've said, between it and B-Barrel, you can have any HM move that you want across two Pokemon. It's really, really great. I have named it, however, as a tribute, if you will, to the original Gen 4 Let's Play that started so much and was one of the things that motivated me to making Pokemon videos in the first place. So, um, I hope you know which Let's Play I am talking about. If you don't, maybe brush up on your, um, old camcorder Let's Plays. Um, perhaps it wasn't a very good era when I'm describing it like that, but still, it is in tribute to that. So as we're heading out into Route 218 to our next destination, it happened. Yeah, that. I have made many a people's ears bleed with my cringe-inducing, downright offensive pronunciation of Kanalave City. Rare candy! Wow, they really want me to feel better about this right on cue. Um, yeah. I've watched the episodes of the anime that were based on, on a, that were based on that location before. It's really hard to break it. And I really thought they said Kanalave City based on my memory. I went back and I watched those episodes to cite them as a source for that after so many people complained about it, but turns out, no. It is not pronounced that way. It is Canalave City. And as such, I will do my best to break my old habit and do that. Ironically enough, I think it's YouTubers that led me to that pronunciation more than anything else, and I thought it was the anime. Strange. I guess it was just fuzzy memory. I'm getting old. So, uh, this guy right here, out on Route 218, after using Surf to cross the water. He is a trainer of interest. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had one of these. Had to be quiet there for a second, because he's got... Whoop! Cricketune on his team. Yeah, you will not see this normally. That is downright a crime that you won't see this normally in, as in part of a required battle. This is one Pokemon that, man, just to annoy my friends, I would raise it for a multiplayer team and just have, like, Growl or something that plays its cry all the time as an attack. I wouldn't even do damage. I would just use that all the time. It's... Kinda sad though. I've always liked Cricketune's Cry. Yeah, I sound like such a hipster. I've been wanting to like talk about Cricketune's Cry in a video for years, and somebody else beat me to it, and it became super memeable. It was one of those things where I could have had it, but I guess I just took too darn long to get around to the fourth generation, as many of you have told me over the years. <laughs> so yeah, that one did kind of sting a little bit when I saw that video, but it, it, it still makes me happy to see so many people appreciating one of my favorite Pokemon Cries of all time. Taking you out, not like I need to see a Magnemite for my Pokedex or anything like that. Just the cricket tune will do. Can you hear it? That's my guitar weeping. Hope I didn't snap the strings on it. Those things are expensive. Well, I guess strings really aren't too expensive. I'm too I'm too torn up to sing anymore. I am so cool that way. You're cool with not ever singing again. I guess to be fair, you're a guitarist and not a vocalist. Over here we have more berries. Got Persian berries, Rost berries. I don't think this one cures any sort of status. Figgy Berry, no, you are a Poffin ingredient as well as one of those weird berries that affects HP in weird ways. Pineapp Berries, I'll take you. Gotta keep swimming in my berry collection. As you can see over there in the water, there is an item that we can grab if we go past those fishermen. I don't believe trainers on land will notice you. No, if you can pass right in front of them and they don't notice you at all. You outright have to go out of your way to talk to these guys to get them to notice you I guess they're just really focused on not fishing. They don't have a fishing rod out. Hyper Potion. Take that. Knowing my luck, Clefairy is going to get critted next time I use it in battle, so I definitely have to prepare for the worst. Oh, wow. Never mind! You don't have to surf all around in this tricky trick way. I guess I just never really thought these areas connected. I figured it was isolated. <laughs> Shows how much I know about the layout of this route. That's everything that we've come for. Unless there's something in here, but once again, I'm not going to sweat it too much. Here we are, into the gate. Oh, wait, wait, pause, 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 stop the video, stop the video. Just had to repeat myself for emphasis on every single one of those. This is kind of awkward. Well, already that was kind of awkward, but this is even more awkward. 
When recording this, I thought that the opportunity to go over the new encounters on Route 218 after getting Surf would come up eventually, but just everything moved kind of quickly in this video, one thing led to another, and I just never got the opportunity. So instead, as much as I don't like doing this, we're gonna pause right here and go over them. After getting Surf on Route 218, in the grass, you can find Mr. Mime! If you are playing Platinum, this is your first opportunity to find this family, as we could not encounter Mime Jr. earlier, similar to how your first opportunity to get the Sudowoodo family was also after Surf. Mr. Mime is not the greatest psychic type attacker out there, but it's decent enough. And if you want to use something different for the sake of being unique, it won't let you down. It also learns some nice support moves such as Light Screen and Reflect that can help out the whole team. Second is Glam Meow. I'm just gonna be concise and to the point, I don't like this Pokemon. It's only found in Pearl version, so that makes it really elusive. And I remember it being one of the last Pokemon that everyone I knew needed when completing their Cinder Decks. Heck, it was the last Pokemon I hadn't caught, other than Perugly in my Cinder Decks when I first played Diamond version. It really isn't good or helpful, not only because of its elusiveness, but also just how late it comes in the game. And it didn't have to be this way. Glammeow learns Fake Out at level 1, and Hypnosis at level 13. If you could catch this in an early area, it would be very helpful, at least for the beginning of the game, just from those moves alone. But it comes too late, there's stronger normal types already available to you, odds are in this day and age you're not playing Pearl version, and we're gonna be fighting tons of types of Pokemon that normal is just simply not good against in the coming areas. It could have been good, but it's just obsolete and there's no reason to pick it up. Now, on with the video. Emil, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. Oh, are you here to scold me for beating your daughter so badly at Pokedex filling? What'd you think I was gonna say? Po Professor asked me that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see. So I've chosen this spot on a hunch that you'd pass through. Emil, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, was I supposed to put this in the software here? ka chunk ka -chunk. I hope that was a good kachunk. All done, I've upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain how it's been upgraded, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should. Now I can display images of male and female Pokemon. Fourth generation was the birth, <laughs> no pun intended, of male and female Pokemon having different physical traits. It's kind of impressive just how many different uh, little details there are across different Pokemon. Rester is concerned with what happened in Jubilife City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. I wanna talk to this guard, because it's pretty incredible. Boy, I sure am thirsty! <laughs> yes! With Pokemon Red and Blue recently being re-released in the eShop, seeing that line... <laughs> such a brilliant throwback. What's up, your clothes look damp. Maybe you took the boat to Iron Island to get a hidden machine, right? No, but thank you for that piece of info. And, uh, Canalave City got such relaxing music, it's oh so wonderful. You know, let's be quiet for a moment and just take it in. After this item, Jingle ruins it, of course. <laughs> I didn't think this person would be the one that had the TM. You know, Pokemon have their own abilities. Will the move Skill Swap exchange the user's ability with that of its target Pokemon? It's really good double battles. Now let's be quiet. So good. Everyone always complains about Hoenn's whiny trumpets and says that's the instrument of Hoenn. Man, no one ever talks about how the instrument of Sinnoh is the piano, and I love it! Such good music, so different from the rest of the Pokemon series, but in such a good way. This guy over here, he is the move deleter. If you ever want to force your Pokemon to forget a move for whatever reason, you can come here. You can unlearn HM moves, contrary to the generation one that I was just reminiscing on when I talked to that guard. <laughs> Welcome to Canalave City, the Canal City. In the old days, this port used to be hub as a cargo of transportation. I don't know why whenever I talk about it in the old days, I just suddenly get like an old person accent. My Psyduck is very close to me. That makes its return move powerful. I know what that's all about, because I got my Clefairy. Up here, Harbor Inn. Doors tightly shut. It appears impossible to open. I'm willing to bet it's pretty dark in there. <laughs> 
Let's uh, go to the Pokemon Center because I really, well, okay, I don't really need to heal, but trust me on this, you want to heal at the Pokemon Center even if you don't think you need to. Unless, of course, you're doing a speedrun or something, but I think speedrunners know to not include themselves in my usual tips because the tips that I give, quite frankly, are horrible for speedrunning, but that's kind of the case with any sort of completionist playthrough of any kind. Reason why you want to heal. Uh, what do I want to do here? Uh, I'm gonna switch Supernova into the lead against my better judgment. Cause as soon as you step here... No thud! You see the subtle character development! Hey Emil, you're getting a challenge gym leader up past here, eh? Someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge! That someone is me, with my brand new gym badge! Shing! Sparkle Sparkle! He's just showing off at this point! Fighting Barry once again. He is, of course, starting off with his newly evolved Star Raptor, level 36, normal flying type, intimidate for its ability, aerial ace, take down, quick attack, and double team. Even though Star Raptor is clearly a more threatening Pokemon than Star Avia in terms of stats, I don't fear this Star Raptor as much as I do with Star Avia. That double team, quick attack, endeavor combo was just so annoying to deal with. Ugh, but. Thank goodness it's not a problem anymore. Even though he's got that Intimidate, even though he has higher... Really? Supernova. Supernova, listen, you... What is wrong with you? I don't have any reliable switches because they're weak to Aerial Ace. You don't have much defense. I think I'm better off just sacking Supernova at this point. What else is new? Unless he heal... Oh, wow! Maybe I should have actually done Thunderbolt. I just did Metronome to be fun. No! Oh, wow. Okay, I have learned my lesson. Never do Metronome just for the sake of having a good laugh. No. No! I will have no one to blame but myself if this Thunderbolt doesn't go through. Thank you! Thank you! Man, okay. That, that fight against Cyrus, that was not my fault. That was bad luck. Sure. That would have definitely been my fault if I would have lost. <laughs> Not back into green health from that, I'll say that much. Uh, Heracross. This is kind of awkward. I'm going to go to Acrobat for this. I don't trust Supernova to take it out. If only for the type weakness. Heracross is level 37, bug fighting type, guts for its ability. So I really don't want to poison it. Brick Break, Aerial Ace, Night Slash, Horn Attack. This thing can be a beast if it gets off any of its attacks. Heracross is no joke, one of the best physical attackers in the game. Now and forever, as far as I'm concerned, I love Heracross. Even though it might be a little bit more outclassed in games nowadays, I still think it's really fun to play with. Not like it really was that hard for uh, Acrobat to deal with. Next, his starter Pokemon, whatever he's had in previous battles, you know it here. Infernape, however, in particular, level 38, fire fighting type, blaze for its ability. Brick Break, Flame Wheel, Mock Punch, Aerial Ace. It doesn't have any particular type advantage against me, so I'm a little curious as to why he went for that against Acrobat, considering I have the advantage, but hey, I'm not complaining. Acrobat always has great battles against Barry. He really does. Then again, Acrobat always just has really good battles in general, except against Wake, in which case nobody had a good battle, but... At least he didn't come out behind. Floatzel. Oof, okay. He... Let's go Bodhi. Let's get Bodhi some action in this fight. Luckily, this Floatzel does not have Ice Fang. <laughs> Floatzel is level 35, water type, swift swim for its ability. Aqua Jet, pursuit, quick attack, and swift. Would hammer it. Just do it. You thought I was gonna switch out. That's kind of funny, Barry. Just do the wood hammer. Good. I would have been very furious if that didn't go down and I just hurt myself that much for, well, not nothing, but Never mind. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. Your last Pokemon, I hope I'm counting that out right. I haven't seen your Pokeballs in a second. I really hope my memory is not that fuzzy. I just like, wait a minute, is it actually last? Is it? Yes. Good. I really should have just flowed with it and not said anything. Roserade, level 35, grass poison type, natural cure for its ability. Giga Drain, Toxic Spikes, Toxic Spikes, Toxic Spikes, Leech Seed, Grass Whistle. This shows just how fast of a Pokemon Roserade is. I know that I have a minus speed nature, but the fact that it outspeeds Gallade, yeah, it kind of goes to show how much Roserade challenges the conventions of Grass type Pokemon. However, it does not challenge the conventions of being dual type Grass Poison. 
And for that, it went down. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? One of these days, he will actually know when he has sent out his last Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, you're just as be a bit better than me, as usual. But listen up. Let me tell you who's gonna take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed right, it's gonna be May. Anyway, you should go to Iron Island and toughen up some more. Yeah, train at Iron Island. That's what I did before going to the gym. Did he mean to run off that way? I sincerely hope he did. <laughs> wow! Barry for best rival, guys. Really. Like, so many of you in the comments have been saying it, too. Barry is just... He's the best. He's so lively. I love it. He's kind of the last case of an antagonistic rival that we've had, I think. Oh! You're with Jubilife TV! Yeah, well, I got a few choice words for you. I do... I don't want to tell you my favorite Pokemon type! Fine. Poison. Again, they're, I think they're underrated. Not good offensively, but good... I was gonna, like, write something that calls out Jubilife TV in whatever interview she was gonna give me. I'm sure it won't be the last time I'm asked for an interview with them. That sounds very egotistical within the context of the universe, but still. Sailor Eldritch's house. I'm gonna be a sailor like my daddy. He's a real man among men. Even the sea doesn't scare him. Oh, but the gym leader would be cool too. Byron is so awesome. Our boy has too much energy. That's the best way to be. I fully agree. I I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't agree with that logic. Figured I'd just go and heal at the Pokemon Center after getting to the edge of town since I needed it after that berry fight. And since we decided to stop and sniff the piano, stop and sniff, I was trying to go for a mixture of stop and sniff the roses and the piano music that we decided to stop and listen to, but it came out sounding even more awkward than it did in my head, wow. Point is, we stopped to listen to some piano music earlier, and I almost went into the Pokemart as soon as we went into town, but I didn't want to interrupt the music that was playing. So I want to show that the clerk on the left has the items for us that are exclusive to Candlelight City. Well, okay, not really anything exclusive, but point is, airmail, quick ball, timer ball, repeat ball. If you want any of these, you can buy them here. Clerk on the right's not going to have any new items for us, because of course, we have yet to win our battle at Candlelight City Gym. But that, as we say in the business, is Candlelight City after I've been set straight and told how they say it in the business. We have seen just about everything around town now. Except, of course, for the Canalave Library, which Cynthia told us to go to. We're gonna save that for another time. There is the Canalave City Gym, of course, which we'll also be saving for another time. And last, but certainly not least, is the Canalave Harbor. We have been told not only by Barry, but also a chubby man in some overalls that we want to take the harbor boat to Iron Island. And I'd say that that's a pretty good repertoire of opinions of where we should head off to next. Just a hunch. I want to surf down here in the water. And get this, we get TM89 U-Turn, one of my personal favorites. That's a physical bug type move that allows you to do damage and then switch out to another Pokemon. It can be a really fun move to use. I like it a lot, as if I haven't said that already. Point is, I just really like it that much that it bared repeating. But, that is everything I wanted to do in Canalave City. Next time on Pokemon Platinum, we're going to be taking the boat to Iron Island. See you guys then.